guys, welcome to the Rap Studios. This is Raj Bhakwe, and today we'll see how to create grapes like subsurface scattering in Vide, Radius Max. So I'll be using Triple S shader of Vide to create this effect. So let's start. I'll just drag a file, open it, and this is what we have. Just a simple grape model. It's just the spears I've placed it, and two VD lights, and one point light to create a specular. So what I'm going to do is delete this, and this is what the shader which I've assigned to the grapes. So I'll replace it. Now <coughs> I'm going to rendering settings. <coughs> Okay, I'll just turn this off and heal as in and might reuse the resolution for the preview purpose. And uh, let's try now. So this is what we have right now. I think there's some light over there. That's very ambient light. I gotta delete that. Now let's try this. So this is what we have with the fall lights. Now Uh, we have a gradient map in the background so we can modify it we can place any plane or texture to kind of background so this is what I have adjusted with the colors and all so let's tweak it a little bit or so we can adjust that color later so let's see how to create a triple shader I'll go in VDA, now you'll find VDA advanced pl plugins over there, materials, and you'll find Triple S in standard. So VDA Fast Triple S 2, this is a version 2 shader of VDA. This is actually much more easier than the previous one and really fast to render. So if, even if you're a beginner, you can easily assign and play with the parameters. So let's render. You can see I'm moving my mouse and it's rendering. That's the video frame buffer. You can see a nice specular and produce. Uh, I want to increase that. First of all, I'll change the let's add first of all a light to get that kind of triple S effect subsurface scattering. I create a VD light and place it above it, right above it, and let's render. We gotta modify that. So I need to change the background color. It's too bright, so I need to make it more dark. Uh, let's change this color, overall color, to green, like grapes. We can play with the color to get the realistic output. And we have a scatter color, subsurface color. So I can modify those also. Scatter color is a color which will uh, spread inside the object when the light strikes it. Like we have inside a skin, a red color, because we have a blood inside the skin. So, in the same way, we can modify the color. I can just copy the light, one more light, and just try to place it properly. Maybe from this side. Okay, rotate it a little bit. And let's press right now. So that will act as a fill light. I 
again I need to adjust, adjust the angle more you can see a lot of noise over there a lot of shadowing over there so I gotta fill those parts and you can just play with the frame buffer options to get the exact colors okay it's too dark way too dark so now let's start increasing the scatter radius right now it's one so I gotta boost or boost that value so I just change this to 25 and let's hit render you'll see the beauty scattering yeah you see a nice scattering and it's rendering very fast faster than the mental ray so let's zoom on the camera a little bit and under it once again so you'll see a nice scattering over there cool now let's hide that uh, light over there we have to just turn on invisible mode right now you can see that thing in the renderer so just turn the invisible on and even for this light turn on the effect reflection so that you won't find reflection of these lights into the grapes change the angle a little bit and let's render you can see that effect much better than the previous one nice scattering now you gotta play with the light angles from where the light is mousing the grapes and where the scattering uh, let's add the VD ambient light this is a new addition to VD 1.5 service pack 5 and plus and render it I've set the color way too dark so that it won't be too much bright Let's say it's doing the thing of ambient light. Let's reduce the intensity to 0.75. Let render. So a little bit less ambient color over there. And you can see it's rendering damn fast. Uh, you can just with the position of the light maybe I'll just copy one more light and place it from this direction from the camera you might reduce the size a little bit so that it won't be too dense this will go from the bottom side hit render you can see the scattering it's really good. You gotta reduce the intensity, it's way too bright now. So, you can see nice specular highlights. Uh, you can play with those parameters and the single scatter now we can it's right now in the simple mode so you can just play with the front lighting back lighting even if we just turn off those two parameters you can see there's no scattering there's no back lighting or front lighting so even if I just turn on the front lighting the front lens gets scattered and pass through the object and even if I just turn on only the back lighting this is how the backlighting will look. In triple S, backlighting plays an important role. Very important role. So let's turn on both. And you can even turn on the scatter GI if you are using global illumination. Now, <clears throat> let's play with the color a little bit. Ah, that's way too yellow. Let's add more green. And 
it's way too green. I gotta play with the colors and all to match it. <clears throat> Let's modify the settings of the light a little bit. I might increase the size of the light. Maybe this much. And I'm gonna increase the subdivisions. Now, if you don't increase this, you'll get a lot of noise in the shadow areas. So you gotta boost those values. So I'm gonna pump those values up to 32. And gotta increase the resolution as well. So right now we're doing the final settings. So I'll keep it 12 by 720, that is half HD. Turn on the anti-aliasing to Mitchell. And I mean, if, if you want GI, you can use it, but I don't need in this case. And let's fit this and hit render. So right now I'm going to pause my video, show you the result. Okay, so this is what we get. Now again, there's a little bit burning over there. So again, you just have to modify the parameters and this is what you'll get by tweaking it. So, well, that's it. So this is how we can use a triple S shader to create a nice effect. And this is very easy to uh, understand. So, thank you for watching this tutorial. Keep visiting Rap Studios.